Hi, I'm Dan from the University of New Brunswick. I hear you have a question for me. Are there any other planets like Earth? That's a good question. So when we think about what makes Earth Earth-like, we need to think about the different kinds of planets that there are. Fortunate for us, we've got a variety of different kinds of planets in our solar system. So we've got rocky planets. Rocky planets are known to have metal cores and be really rocky on the surface, and they tend to be closest to the sun. So we've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Those are all the rocky planets that we know of in our solar system. Now there's other kinds of planets called giant planets or gas giants. So those are known to be gassy, which is what gives them their name. So they're made up of mostly hydrogen, helium, and methane. So in our solar system, we have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Those are all the gas giants that we have. So we've got this telescope here, so we can use this to actually look at Jupiter. Those four little dots are the moons. Can you see the stripes on it? Yeah. On the planet? Yeah, I can see the stripes. Mm, cool. There's stripes on it. Can we stand on a gas giant? No, because there's no surface to actually stand on. We could stand on some of the moons around gas giants, like Jupiter has a lot of moons. We could stand on one of those. We might think that all rocky planets are the same, but one thing we have to think about is how close they are from the sun. If it's really close to the sun, it's going to get really hot. And if it's too far away, it gets really cold. So what makes Earth Earth-like is it's in this special place called the habitable zone, so it's not, or the Goldilocks zone. It's not too close, and it's not too far. If it's too close, all the water evaporates and there's nothing for us to drink. If we get too far away, then it gets really cold and it gets frozen. Now the other thing we need to think about is in our solar system we've got three planets in the habitable zone. Earth is in the habitable zone and so is Venus and Mars. Now Mars has almost no atmosphere so when we go there it gets either really hot or really cold so Mars goes between minus 120 degrees Celsius to about 20 degrees, depending on whether it's in the sun or not. So that's not really good for us to live there. Now Venus has a really big atmosphere compared to Mars, which it's so thick that, and toxic that it makes it really hot, getting over 400 degrees. What about planets around other stars? Well, that's an interesting point you bring up. So. When we think about stars, there's lots of things to consider. There's different kinds of stars. There's cool stars, warm stars, they're different colors. So when we think about it, we need to think of, about what size habitable zone each of those stars has. Colder stars have a really small Goldilocks zone, and medium-sized stars that are yellowish, are like our sun, are a little bit bigger habitable zones. And then there's really hot white and blue stars that have really big habitable zones. So we've used big telescopes here on Earth, much bigger than this one, and telescopes in space to find other stars that have planets orbiting them. Have they, any, have they found any other Earths yet? Well, they found all kinds of different planets, and some of them we think might be like Earth. So one of the ones that we found was uh, called Proxima b, or Centauri Proxima b. And that one orbits a star that's a little bit cooler than Earth, and it's in its habitable zone. The only thing we don't know is what its atmosphere is like. And then other telescopes, one of the Kepler telescopes, has found a star called Kepler 452b. So they usually name them after the telescopes that have found them. That star is cooler than Earth's sun, but it does have a year that's very close to the length of our year. So instead of being 365 days in a year, that one's 385 days. Still, we don't know about its atmosphere, whether or not we could breathe on it. And then the next really interesting one that was found was the TRAPPIST-1 solar system. So that one, we found seven planets that are in the habitable zone. They're all very close to the same size as Earth. Now their star that they orbit is a bit cooler 
than ours, and we still can't get close enough to know about its atmosphere. So for now, we don't really know if it's Earth-like, if it can hold life, but we'll just have to be happy with the star that we have and the planet that we're on. Goodbye, Jamie. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Bye.